Hi, hello, welcome. Pip Tobman here from QueenPipCards.com. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today we are doing another In Our Fancy Fold card series and this one is what's known as a double tent fold card. So many of you will know maybe the, the card that's attached that's just folded over at the top and then it has this sort of springy bit at the bottom and it stands up like that. Um, on your mantelpiece. Uh, this is a double one so we've done a double piece at the top um, to the bottom and it stands on your mantelpiece like so and gives you that beautiful sort of 3D effect because <laughs> you can see through here to a different piece inside and this one I used the dog punch, dog builder punch and um, just a little sentiment just for you this is from Rooted in Nature and then I just decorated it with the little hearts that come out from the dog punch and used some designer series paper and just picked up the colours that were in the in the papers. Uh, but it's nice because it gives you that 3D effect. You can use um, lots of different dyes on it. We're just going to do it with circles, but we're going to do it this time with flowers. Um, and I'm using today the beautiful Friendship Stand set, which I just love. It's adorable um, because it's so soft and it's so gentle on the eye. It's just really nice. It stamps beautifully. So we're going to be using the stamps from there and we're going to change the colours up as well. So I've decided we're going to do purples because you know me and I love my purples. So I've got Mossy Meadow and Blackberry Bliss as my ink pads. OK, so that's the two colours that we'll be using. Pop those out of the way for a minute. But first we need to chop up all our cardstock. OK, so I'm just going to run down because the, the cutting is really simple and then I'm going to show you the folding. So I'm making this one slightly smaller. This was a large... 14 by 14 centimetre card. This one's smaller. This one's 10, uh, 12 centimetres by 12 centimetres. And you need two of those. And this is in your base colour. OK, uh, so you need two of those. Then you need one 11 and a half by 11 and a half matte layer for the front. And then you need two designer series paper layers, one of which is the same size as your matte okay because this is going to go on the inside so this is 11 and a half by 11 and a half this is going to go on the inside layer of your card and then you need another one to go on the front and this is 11 by 11 so 11 by 11 11 and a half by 11 and a half 12 by 12 and then inside 11 and a half and 12 by 12 okay centimeters not inches 12 by 12 okay um, and then you need either coordinating cardstock or um, uh, opposite color cardstock to use for your little tent pieces top and bottom now I'm using uh, the same color but I've already gone ahead and scored them and I thought that was silly I should have shown you how to do them so these are also 12 centimeters wide by six centimeters deep and you're going to go in and score it four scores okay so in each piece is going to be one and a half centimeters so go in one and a half centimeters um, and you can either use that side or you can use this side and come across but either way score one and a half then another one and a half will make it three okay and then another one and a half will make it four and a half. So one and a half, three, four and a half. And that gives you one, two, three, four equal pieces. OK, do that twice with both your pieces. Actually, I might do this and just see what it's going to look like. You never know, I might change my mind and do alternate pieces for this because I quite like a contrast sometimes. Sometimes a contrast is good. So one and a half, three. Oh, just mind you don't move it when you put it down with your fingers in the way. There we go. <laughs> it does bump up a little bit as you um, as you score it. So just be aware of that. That is bumped. It does sort of pop up a little. So if you can hold it, that's good. Just to make sure it doesn't move. And then four and a half. Okay. So now we've got all our pieces assembled. We will need to do some um, die cutting. We'll do that in a moment. But first, um, we're just going to show you how you do the concertina piece. So you'll need a piece that will go to the back of your card. 
you'll need a piece that will go onto the front of your card and then you need the concertina that goes in between your card to hold it in place okay so you end up with a mountain a valley and a mountain okay and that's your concertina piece and that's how it will hold your card in place so you score both of those so if you don't know what mountain means it means that it just makes it stand up when you look at it and then a valley goes the opposite way so it goes down like a valley and then the next one goes up like a mountain so that when you put them all together you have two mountains with a valley in the middle does that make sense hopefully that makes sense and it's like a little accordion <laughs> right so now we'll get on to the um, putting it all together so we need one of our front pieces and we need our um, paper our cardstock our contrasting cardstock and we'll stick that down and then we leave that to dry but make sure it's well glued because you're going to cut a hole in it in a minute so it does need to be glued sort of all the way around you know, make sure it's covering okay and then we take our paper but we don't attach it instead we use the scalloped circle so I've chosen ones these are not the biggest ones I use the large not even the largest ones on this one so um, it's whatever you know however big you decide to make yours but you're going to cut the first one and you can either go up a bit or you can go sort of centrally I wouldn't go too far down the bottom you don't want the base of your card to be a bit wibbly wobbly you want it sort of central or just slightly higher than that and then we're going to cut that out okay and then I'll show you how we cut the other one out all right so I'll go and get the big shot okay so carefully peel this off and you don't need this you can use that for another project then what we need to do is place our paper onto our cardstock base but don't stick it at this point okay and then position your inner circle sort of equidistant away from all your edges that looks about right and then stick that down and lift your paper off okay so it's important that you take your paper off you don't want to run that through too many times in the big shot and or any embossing any cutting machine and you don't want to have more than two layers going through your big shot and then pop that central piece out like so and I just use tape because I find it works better for me um, and I still haven't taken my <laughs> Still haven't taken my um, big sh second big shot with a magnetic plate out of my out of the car that I use for class, so it's still in there. Uh, it will come out at some point, right? So then you see how we're going to layer that back up over the top. So glue that down, and this paper's from the best dressed uh, designer series paper, and. Um, as we speak I think it's still available but it is retiring so you won't be able to do this exact um, card you won't be able to copy this exactly if you haven't got the products and you're after the first of uh, sorry the third of June 2020 if you're watching this after then however there are lots of lots of beautiful papers that you can use and we've got more coming up so I'm sure you'll be able to find something that attracts you and works just as well okay so that's now the outside panel of our card now we're going to attach the inside like so and then if you wanted to you could put a circle in here for um, a sentiment so I thought I would be sneaky and just use the circle that we've already cut out because obviously it fits perfectly um, so I have selected the sentiment from the Butterfly Gala stamp set which says hello gorgeous because I like that sentiment 
I call lots of things gorgeous. Sometimes people too. Um, and it doesn't matter that it's a double thickness. You just, I'm just going to stamp it sort of a little bit up towards the top because I'm going to want to make sure that it can be seen through the hole. Okay, so we'll pop that to one side. Now, we will now start attaching our pieces together. Okay, but before we do, we will put this back in the hole. Okay, um, and we need to do it now because otherwise it'll be a bit squishy squashy. So when we've got the concertina going on, so we're going to just glue this, hold these two together, pop it back in the hole. Okay, lift the top top one off, make sure it sticks. There we go. Okay, so that's now straight. Yep, good. <laughs> straight and on the uh, back of the card. Right, so now we're going to do our thingies. And I do actually think, yeah, I think I'm going to go with... I like the idea of going with different colours. Now, I am using multi-purpose glue for this. I truly believe it's the best glue that you can get for any of these things where you need to have things that move um, it needs strength and that's because when it dries man does it dry solid uh, and you you have enough wiggle room to move things around if you need to but it dries brilliantly and when it is dry things do not spring apart or move or whatever so for anything where there's a little bit of tension going through your card, which there is because this is on a spring-loaded front and back, this is um, this is definitely the glue to use. Now, you can obviously need somewhere to write your sentiment, so you would need to write that, put that on the back here. You also need to make sure that it's lined up so that when you put it on, you put it on this way round so that your front is going to show through the hole. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully looking and seeing me do it makes sense. I'm just making sure that I'm a little bit higher than the, not higher than the line, but sort of on that score line. So it's not going to show above. We don't want it showing too much above the ridge when you close your card up. There we go. It's a little bit on this side, but I can live with that. Okay. So, I mean, it would stand like that and you could do that, but that looks a bit weird. So, especially on the inside when you've got that line going on. So it's always best to finish it off uh, with the one at the bottom. And this time I'm starting from the back and moving towards the front. So pop it down there. There we go. Alrighty, and then come back on and then this is the trickiest one because you're coming you know now you can't work it flat to the table now you're having to do this up using your hands so fold it over and then sort of position it and this is why I say multi-purpose glue is great because you can you can wiggle yourself around a bit you've got a bit of chance for movement okay so pop that in. Okay, make sure it's there. Lovely. Make sure it closes. Great. Even better. No glue oozing out. Good. Make sure it folds flat. Perfect. And there's your box card. Okay. And now we're just going to decorate it. And um, now you can see that even though we've got the big circle in the middle you can still see the um, papers behind as you move the card which is why it's always good to have pretty papers going inside uh, if you wanted to you could actually hide those lines by putting the papers on after you've glued in your um, edges but they're going to see them on this side anyway so I don't really see the point of doing that I think it looks okay it just gives it a nice sort of border edge okay so that's that we're now going to do some stamping and some cutting out. Ooh. So taking your Blackberry Bliss ink pad, 
we're going to stamp one of those and one of those oops no we're not why is that not stamping it might be because i haven't got my mat underneath hold on let me just try that again that's better um, and i've used these particular stamps because they are fairly easy to hand cut out obviously if you've got a stamp set with flowers that you can die cut that works just as well too and then i'm going to stamp a couple of these again so that we can have a bit of foliage going on i apologize if you can hear the noise we have a helicopter going around outside so obviously something's occurring outside <laughs> and then i'm just going to cut these out and I like these because they are fairly simple to cut. You just sort of wiggle your way around, around the stamp. And on this one, I'm not going to pay too much attention to the middle center piece because that's going to be sitting behind my other flower stamp. So you don't need to worry too much about that bit. And then follow that down there. And also don't worry too much about this bottom piece here. So just chop that off like that. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put that large flower in front of those two smaller flowers. So it's sort of offset like that. And then we'll pop some leaves in between. And even though this stamp set isn't actually designed to work with this paper, it goes with it really well, I think. It brings the sort of spirit of the flowers alive. But we're gonna add a little bit more decoration as well. I think actually we can make do with just two of those leaves so we'll leave that other one for later and now we're going to start assembling these together so I'm going to glue the flowers uh, sorry the leaves onto the flowers just a tiny bit of glue until I know roughly where we're going with it so a bit up there that's going to go there-ish okay then I want to attach the rows to the front but I want to put that up on a dimensional so we'll pop a dimensional here and here and i won't worry that that worry that that dimensional may go over the edge because we will be putting this onto the card anyway so we'll do that there to start off with yeah okay that hangs over and we'll just then attach the the leaf there as well behind this rose so even the leaves are going to be at different layers to each other okay like so and then this is going to attach to the front of the card like so so because that dimensional is there, that provides us with stickiness to attach it to the front of the card. So we'll just add a little bit more glue to the end of that flower piece. And then you just need to make sure that you're going to attach it below the hole. So none of that glue or um, dimensional is gonna come through under there. And that when you look at the card, you can still see the words Hello beautiful, because that's what you want it to do. So I need to turn that around a little bit, that's fine. There we go. So when it's flat, it looks like this, and open it looks like that too, so that's good. All right, and then just to finish that off, I thought it would be nice if the flowers had a few butterflies joining them. 
So I have a piece of blackberry bliss and a piece of, uh, this is purple posy. Did I say that earlier? I can't remember if I did. Um, purple posy is this um, lovely light purple. And we're just going to have a little dark one. There we go. And I want to put the little dark one on top of the, little, the big one. So they're going to be layered up like that, coming up over here. And then the little tiny one can come and sit down here, like so, with a little dimensional underneath. I mean, you could put one inside, you could you could do whatever you wanted to really, but just make sure that it still goes pretty flat when you finish. Um, so for this, I'm going to attach that with a mini glue dot. That's, uh, no, not a mini glue dot, with a mini dimensional, that's what I'm after. So that's going to go in there, pop this one just sort of down here-ish and then this one I'm going to attach with this, just curve the wings up a little bit, a little tiny dot of glue or you can use a glue dot whichever you feel most comfortable with, either works and then here we can just attach either some minis or some standards, it's up to you just to keep that in place. Not going right down to the bottom of the wing because I want that part to overhang the aperture as well. So again just make sure that you've got those in place like so and it's not overhanging. No, that's great. There and then to finish we'll just add some of the lovely but sadly retiring very unhappy about these going. <laughs> I do know that we can make our own with our own blend, stamping blend pen. So, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I just love these purple ones. They're just my colour. Um, so we're going to pop on a little purple one down there and a couple of purple, little purple one up there, like so. There we go. So there are our two double tent fold cards double because they've got this this double piece bottom top and bottom not just at the bottom they both stand on your mantelpiece like so and they both look gorgeous like so uh, this one obviously is the smaller version this is the larger version both of which will fold flat to put into a normal square envelope so there you go that's our next in our series of fancy bowls and i hope you really have enjoyed that one uh, please come back soon subscribe if you want to buy anything, all the links are in the description below and you can hop over and see my blog too and see some more pictures, etc. there. So thanks ever so much for watching. You take care and I will see you again soon. Cheers. Pip Tobman here, signing out for QueenPipCards.com. Thanks. Bye.